Yeah, it's it's not pretty, is it? Uh, it uh, I've seen a tackle many times, and it, it's bad. You know, obviously, lucky, luckily, it wasn't knocked out. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely not a uh, not a fun thing to deal with. Uh, the nose okay? Just the the skin part? I mean, like, is it broken? Uh, we're not sure. Got to get some uh, CT scan later today. Uh, saw a couple specialists yesterday, and some more today. So uh, have a meeting with a plastic surgeon later to see what uh, what needs to be done. But it's it's. It's pretty deep. Any chance you you thinking about playing this weekend? Of course, as long as the doctors say you know it's there's no concussion or anything like that, then yeah, I'm, I'm going to be in there as long as coach is going to play me. Uh, I had a fitting for a mask uh, yesterday and get it today, so hopefully uh, if I get cleared to play, that'll that'll be my protection. Do you feel like that should have been a red card? What was your opinion about that, based on your own experience? I think it is. Uh, honestly, sorry, my opinion doesn't matter. Obviously. Uh, watching it many times on video, I, I don't think the guy has any chance of getting the ball, uh, especially his angle and the way he comes, the direction he comes from is no chance. Uh, and to go studs up is definitely a uh, automatic red, I think. Were you surprised that there was no call, or did you even have time to be surprised at that moment? I was a little, a little shocked that you know he only gets a yellow card and that's it. And uh, you know if you look at it, it changes the whole game for us. You know, even if you know I stay on the field, no matter what, it's just a dangerous play. And uh, the the amount of blood that came out, I think, shocked a lot of guys. And having to deal with that uh, certainly changed the whole momentum of the game. What about you when that happens? I mean, um, what are you what are you thinking? I mean, how nervous were you? Uh, initially, I thought he got my eye. I, I thought my eye was gone just from where where he hit me and. and uh, the impact that I took uh, initially, I thought my eye was gone. So as soon as I opened my eyes, I was thankful that I could see. Uh, but obviously, the pool of blood that was on the field was was enough to to get me going. Do you do you know him at all? No, yeah. no, never met him. Yeah. I mean, obviously, he's been in the league for a while, but right. don't know him personally. Did was there an apology? Did you hear any apology from him at all? Um, through Footy, <laughs> Footy uh, knows him really well, and obviously, he says he didn't mean to. But anyone that goes studs up into a goalkeeper's side now and I've called it for the ball. Uh, like I said, I don't think he has a chance to get the ball. I think it's just a stupid tackle and, you know, really uh, just not well thought out. Is this the worst you've ever, I mean, obviously it's a goal you've been kicked in the face oh, before, yeah. but is this the worst? Uh, I think so. I, I think this is the worst I've ever dealt with. I, I've gotten many boots across the face, but nothing like this. Have you ever played with a mask before? No, nothing. No. This will be this will be interesting. Is that something that worries you? I mean, that's I mean, as a goalkeeper, your eyes and you know it's pretty much your most important. Well, hands obviously, but you know, important to be able to see pretty well. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a big issue. It's going to be a clear mask. It was you know specifically designed for my face, so I'm not concerned with it. You know, we'll deal with it. I've played with different things on my hands, knees, whatever. You need to deal with it.